Okay, so story time, you guys. I decided to do this while it was fresh on my brain. I put a filter on because I am on the verge of crying like every time I think about this situation. Not only that, the owner of this house that I clean was having me almost wanting to cry right there in the middle of my cleaning because I've been cleaning for her for almost five, six months now, off and on, um, bi-weekly. Okay, so about two weeks ago, my client started getting sick. I cleaned her house, sanitized it. Now this is my second time coming back amongst many times for her and her uncle had died yesterday and she was explaining how she only had like two remaining relatives living and not only that her husband has had two strokes and he uses a walker he has a colonoscopy and she is just she got diagnosed with pneumonia and she's just going through it right now right and so here I am holding back I said now you're gonna make me cry you better stop talking about this stuff and you know we laughed it off right so she's sick sick she runs to CVS to get a prescription they're backed up and here I am her husband you know who's ill uh he can't um function on his own completely I'm the house cleaner you guys I clean people's homes that is my business that is what I do I don't know her husband um, I've seen him many times and I've said hello and a couple months ago we had like a small short conversation I'm sweeping he comes out and I see like his bandages you know his um, coloscopy bag I don't know if I said that right but um, and he's in his underwear he's walking I didn't stare I glanced because I was sweeping he walked into the bathroom was in there for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm telling you, God has a way of humbling you when you don't feel like you have it together and then you help somebody. Whew, this is where it gets me. So he can't get dressed by himself. You know, his wife was out and she was gone at CVS getting her medication. And he, the first thing he says to me as he's walking out, there's laundry folded on the couch in the living room excuse me you know he's very well aware that he's in his underwear in front of me so as I'm you know helping him uh he asked me to get him dressed I'm the house cleaner you guys and I can't tell you how humbling this situation is okay I'm running out of time there is gonna be a part two so stay tuned